Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Kida here, and many times you need to remote control your AC outlet. So here is the AC IR switch connected to my Dremel tool. Now I can turn it on and off using this remote control. And it can be also done manually by this button. So let's take a look at this IR switch. So here's the IR switch. You can see the button to manually turn it on and off. Here's the output, and here's the input. It is rated for 500 watt, AC 250 volts, and 10 amp. You can connect any appliance rated under 500 watt. To it. Here is the listing for the AC IR switch for $3.39 free shipping. Okay, right, so into the box, this AC IR switch comes unprogrammed. So you have to program this to your specific remote control. For that, turn it on. You can see the red light is on, and then push the button for a few seconds. Now it will flash this LED. It means that it is turned into the programming mode. Now push the button on the remote that you want to set. Now you can see. It is programmed. And to clear the code inside the AC IR switch, you first turn it off and then push the button for a few seconds and it will erase the code and you can see now it will not turn on so after opening these three screws and voiding the warranty here is the look inside it On to the first glance, the circuit looks pretty clean to me. Here is the capacitive voltage dropper circuit to power this whole circuit. Here is the bridge rectifier. Here is the capacitor, filter capacitor for its own power supply. Then here is the 78L05 5 volt small regulator. Then here is the memory chip to store the infrared cores. Here's the microcontroller, they have uh, removed the markings on them. Here is the relay itself, it is rated as a 14 volt DC 20 amp, and uh, this is rated for 125 volt AC 20 amp. So, here is the trace for the live wire and the neutral which is going through the relay. If you want to control somewhat higher load, you should not rely on these tracks because uh, they are pretty thin, you can see, and small. 